Hello, everybody. Y'all, I am here with Charles Brogdon, and I am so, so, so excited. So many of you know, I'm Dr. Roz. I'm the Education Chair of Friends of Financial Freedom. On behalf of our founder, uh, uh, Darshan Kendrick, I just want to say thank you. So thank you to those of you watching this video. And Charles, thank you to you for agreeing to be interviewed um, as part of our education series um, to share financial expertise with our group. And so um, I met Charles a few weeks ago at one of our outings. As an aside, if you haven't yet attended one of our outings, you are missing out. So please, please, please make every effort to be there. Even if you have to fly in from somewhere um, out of state, it is well worth it because we have a great time. So I sat beside Charles one night um, and we had a great conversation. He was kind enough to send me this book, uh, Stop Being a Sucker. Don't we all need to know that, right? And, um, and so Charles, with that, I'm just going to say, please introduce yourself. Uh, tell us a little bit about you and we will get started with our interview. Okay, thank you so much for having me, Dr. Ross. And I am Charles Brogdon, and I'm a financial educator. Yeah, a little bit about me, I'm retired Army. I'm a retired Army warrant officer. Uh, I have a background in technical training, also uh, information technology, but I uh, put that aside for the most part, and uh, I, I enjoy people. I enjoy uh, working and meeting people. And so um, I'm in financial services and that's what I do. I teach people how money works and uh, it's a life skill that's not taught in school. And you don't learn it from your friends or your family or your coworkers. Uh, and two out of three people can't answer a few simple questions regarding money things that you really should know about and uh, by now, at least. And so that's where I come in. Uh, out on, on my site, I do have a little exam if people are inclined to take that to see where they are in life. And um, by all means, go ahead and visit. Yes, 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 yes. And as I said, you will uh, put your contact information in that first comment. You all can go to the website and, and see what he's talking about. So, you know, thank you for sharing your background. And, and like most of us in this group, you have a lot of varied interests, a lot of uh, myriad ways of expertise. And um, yet you decided that you want to educate students about financial literacy, which I applaud you. Uh, I just want to give you a pom-pom and say thank you, thank you, thank you for all you're doing. Um, many of y'all know that um, part of one of my businesses is teaching students how to graduate debt-free and avoiding, um, right now, 37% of all students who owe student loan debt owe six figures over a hundred thousand dollars and so helping them graduate debt-free is my little contribution to financial literacy in that age group but i think that what i do um does have some lasting implications and i'm proud of that but Charles, what you do completely alters their trajectory if they can grasp this in middle school or high school and so they begin thinking so debt-free degree would be part of that but then it just completely um, this alters their financial trajectory. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, uh, Dr. Roz, in, in my research on financial literacy, I found the literature basically states that uh, when people get financial uh, education too young, um, they don't typically utilize it. Hmm. Uh, and that's the statistics. Hmm. However, I'm a firm believer in planting the seed. Mm -hmm. So when you plant the seed, uh, at some point it germinates yes. and uh, it starts to grow. And so I'm thinking at least high school, middle school, uh, people should know about the rule 72 at least, uh, which is a, a, a mathematical uh, shorthand on how to, how you double or how your money's going to double to whoever you owe it to, you know, but yeah, that, that's, that's where I am. Outstanding, outstanding. And you know, I shared with you earlier, um, I did another interview with another member, Howard Burkett, Burkett, and he was the first person to introduce Rule of 72 to me. Now, mm -hmm. I knew the concept, um, but have it called that, and also calling it that, it sticks in my brain. 
um, so much easier. So that that part I loved. I mean, this was this was such an informative guide. Um, is this something that you um, you use as like a curriculum? Do you do a course? Do you go into high schools? Like, how do you how do you use this book, and and how do people access your services? Well, the organization actually I'm I'm with Wealthwave. Uh, they actually have a um, a, a uh, promotion that they started earlier in the year, and they just went to schools and churches and and uh, other organization, community organizations, passing the books out, hmm. just giving the books out. Uh, we do have a curriculum that I'm able to teach. And a number of us are able to teach. It's on the um, it's on the internet, and um, you know it basically teaches the book. Wow. So the so the book, I mean, you know, you can learn a lot just by reading the book, but uh, I believe you learn a little bit more when, when you have somebody to talk to and uh, somebody can share things with you. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So your outreach efforts right now are um, primarily the high school age, and do um, you have specific areas in Atlanta that you're targeting or um, specific types of schools or organizations or... Well, for, for a number of years, I've been a mentor in uh, Gwinnett County Public Schools. And every opportunity that I had, I would basically try to teach those kind of classes. Uh, I don't target right now. I don't target any, any one particular group because everyone needs it. Yeah. You know, we're talking about entrepreneurs. We're talking about folks that are uh, in a job with a 401k. They need to, they need to know all the aspects of, of what they're doing. Yeah. You know how money works. Right, right, right. That's so critical. Absolutely so critical. So overall, if somebody said, um, I want to work with Charles, what is what is the number one thing you would teach them? Or if somebody has all these different problems, what is the number one problem you solve? Well, first and foremost, what we do is we need as much information as we can to be able to determine what kind of issues we're, we're confronting. Mm. And so uh, we have a tool, a financial needs analysis mm. that basically allows you to look at everything that's coming in, everything that's going out. And then I have a conversation about your goals and your dreams. Beautiful. And let's and try to develop a plan or a strategy to get you to where you want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so often, one, one of my favorite books uh, is um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And mm -hmm. my favorite habit of the seven is begin with the end in mind. And so that's exactly what you do. It's where are we now? Where do we want to be? How are we going to get there? And you walk them through and coach them, um, yes. which, as you said, having somebody walk you, walk you through it is a much more powerful way. It's that synergy. Of course, that's one of the other habits. Too. Right. But it's that synergy because when Elizabeth does her thing and Charles does his thing, that's great. But when Elizabeth and Charles come together, then there's that synergy that makes us better together, that interconnectedness. Yes. Yes. And um, that's really, really powerful. It's also modeling, you know, and so when you when you begin to work with the young people, you're not just working with them in a vacuum. You're modeling for them, for their friends, but also for their family members. And mm -hmm. so it has that exponential impact as well, which I think Absolutely. is, Absolutely. is um, probably, you know, difficult to measure in some ways, but also we all know that that's exactly what happens. So, mm -hmm. um Absolutely. Yeah. So, Charles, what else would you like to share with our group? How else can we support you? What are the What are the ways that people can um, can get this word out? And and what is it that you most want us to know? Well, what I'd like everyone to uh, do, let's say do a uh, self inventory and uh, just basically determine. You know, there, there are things that we know. There are things that we know we don't know. Okay. Yeah. But there's yeah. a whole universe of things that we don't know that we don't know exactly so, yes. yeah, yeah. So it, it would just be open um i think the biggest uh hindrance uh for me i've, I've had in the past is um egos you know oh. because you know when, when i'm when i'm talking to adults i, I believe and probably just like i would also uh, believe that they should know some of the things that i'm talking about right mm -hmm. and um and when they don't Sometimes they get, I mean, this is, there's no shame in this game. Right. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's incumbent that you want to get to know everything you're unsure of, everything that you're, uh, that you don't know. 
uh, so you can be able to have success. We're, home, we're here for a limited period of time. And so let's not waste it, you know? Yeah, that that is such, that is such beautiful advice. It's beautiful, obviously, for the topic that we're talking about, but it, that applies to every single topic that we'll ever talk about, yeah. either yeah. in this group, the financial freedom, or outside this group, because yeah. we can't know everything about everything. Right. But we all have that expertise. We all have that passion. We all have those gifting and those skills that, again, working together, that interconnectedness and Absolutely. understanding that we are, you know, hopefully creating the beloved community. As Dr. Martin Luther King talked about it. And and how is it that we can harness that to, uh, to create this great world that we want to create? Yes. Well, as I told you in person a few weeks ago, um, and I hope that I will see you uh later on this week but you are a delight and I am so grateful that uh you and I were just happened to be seated next to each other I'm grateful for this opportunity to uh interview you I'm going to share this on the Friends of Financial Freedom page I'll share mm -hmm. it on my LinkedIn page um I am also going to if it's okay with you share it in my free degree Patreon community so that they also can reach out and so wow. um I'm just uh just, as I said, just delighted to have um, gotten to know you and look forward to lots of ways that we can work together. And I will put in a plug, Charles, you know, we're, we're going to be hosting a um, conference, a Friends of Financial Freedom conference. And so if that's something that you're interested in leading one of the breakout sessions, then I encourage you to get with Darshan or um, it's Rufus and, oh, I forgot the lady's name. The, they're the co-chairs. And so sure. reach out to them um, sure. and, and just let them know. Because I think this is this is so impactful um, and really, really important to, um, to get this information out there. Great. I'd be, I'd be happy to. And thank you so much for uh, inviting me here to share with you. Very and, cool. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Charles. And um, I will look forward to talking to y'all again soon. And okay. um, for those of you watching this video, please reach out to Charles. Please go to his website, request this book. It's amazing information. And for those of you that enjoyed this interview and you say, hey, I've got some expertise and I want to share it with the group, then reach out. Let me know because I love doing these interviews. I love introducing um, our wonderful people to our group. And it's what makes our group so strong. It's what makes our group so unique and so again on behalf of Darshan Kendrick and the rest of the leadership team thank you Charles for agreeing to be interviewed today and we look forward to seeing y'all at our next interview thanks my pleasure Dr. Ross okay bye-bye bye-bye